It is semifinal Friday at the Boys State Basketball Tournament, and we have a flurry of teams from the area playing for a spot in the championship round. That includes Lincoln Lutheran, who's coming off the first state win in school history. Norfolk Catholic gets a clean look from the top of the key. Max Hammond puts the Knights in front by four. Lincoln Lutheran struggles with the Norfolk Catholic zone, but that works. Ryan Hager ties the game up. It is 30-30 going to the fourth quarter. Hammond spins, drives, nifty finish. Knights go up by eight. Warriors, though, respond and wipe away the deficit. Grant Stowell, huge shot. Lincoln Lutheran up by two. Then Jacob Dutzman caps the comeback. How about another dunk at the Devaney Center? What a rally. Lincoln Lutheran beats Norfolk Catholic 51-45. The Warriors will play for the school's first state championship on Saturday. So amazing. I've been with my teammates my whole life, and for us to finally come together, it's just it's what we've always wanted. I prayed every day that something like this would happen, and it's just crazy that I'm finally here. It's fun to be the first at things, and you know, now we're going to be the first one to go play at uh, state tournaments. From a capital city team to rural Lancaster County, Norris plays in the semifinals and nearly everyone from Firth, Hickman and Roca fill Pinnacle Bank Arena. That's where we find 10-11's Chase Madison, who is live at PBA. That's right, Kevin. Norris showed up and showed out today, and this is a young Titan team. Just one senior on the roster, and Norris looking to return to the state title game since they won it back in 2003. Norris facing Scott's Bluff this afternoon. Norris just two losses on the regular season. Chris Gardner Jr. shined today. Defender falls down, and Gardner off glass for two of his 25 points. Later in the half, the Titans were rolling. Jarrett Barons flashes to the hoop, plus the foul. Norris led by 16 points at halftime. Then in the second half, it's just the freshman, Evan Greenfield. Pretty jumper. Greenfield with 15 today. Norris running away from the Bearcats. Barrett Bosinger, the three falls as the Titans advance to the state final with the big win. Norris wins 65 to 47. We, uh, you know, we just battle, you know, and like, I don't know. Like it shows that being young doesn't really matter. If you're good, you're good. And we got a lot of talent, but we just got to stay working, compete, and play our hardest, and hopefully the rest take care, take care of themselves. To the other side of the B bracket, undefeated Crete facing defending champs Omaha Scott. Aiden McDowell went nuclear in the first half. The cut baseline, the two-handed jam. And the cards are in front. Later in the half, Aiden McDowell showing out. The deep three goes. McDowell scores 21 points in the first half. Crete leads by five at the break. Second half, Justice Gardner drives inside. Tough basket and finish on this. But after that point, the Skyhawks roll a 30 to 11 run to end the game. Brock Skull, the steal and slam. Scott wins 55 to 47, ending Crete's magical season. I haven't had a, a tougher end of the season as, as, you know, what, what the locker room was like because these kids have poured so much into this basketball program and it meant so much to them. You've done it the right way because it hurts this bad that you know you've, you've committed yourself and you gave it your all. Tonight at, at Pinnacle Bank Arena, it is the nightcap of Class A, and it's all Omaha area schools. You can find those scores and highlights, of course, on 1011now.com. Reporting live from Pinnacle Bank Arena, Chase Madison, 1011 Sports. Thank you, Chase. That was Crete's first and only loss of the year. Meanwhile, rematch of last year's Class C1 state championship. In fact, Auburn and Aston Greenwood have played in each of the last two title games. Dogs are barking early. Brenton Winsel caps an 8-0 run to start the game. Blue Jays settle down. Drake Zimmerman drives and scores, but it's an uphill climb for AG. Maverick, Binder, and Auburn keep the foot on the gas. Binder scores nine straight points in the second half. He finishes with 14, and Auburn gets revenge. Final score, 43-32. On the other side of the bracket, Wahoo facing top-seeded Omaha Concordia. Warriors jump out to the early lead. Dylan Simons, scoop shot is good off glass. Simons scores 14. Wahoo is up at the break. Second half becomes the Marcus Glock show. Strong drive by the Northwest Missouri signee. Then the silky smooth baseline jumper. Glock scores 18 of his game high, 24 in the second half. Wahoo is heading to the state finals for the 16th time in school history. Oh, it means a ton. It's, it's Wahoo's like pride and joy is basketball. And so just being here again is just great. I'm so excited. Can't wait. You know, that's something you work for all year. 
Uh, my coaches and teammates were special, and the community was awesome tonight. Uh, it feels amazing, but we got another one tomorrow. Cross County Amherst in the Class C2 semifinals. It's been a record-setting season for the Cougars. Thatcher Hansen feeds Tanner Hollinger bucket at the foul. Cougars had trouble stopping Tage Hadwiger. Ridiculous step back three. Hadwiger goes for 30 points, nearly unstoppable beyond the arc. James Elgin tries to keep Cross County in it, but it's too much Hadwiger and too much Amherst. The Cougars will play for third place tomorrow. Carter Nelson and Ainsworth playing at the Devaney Center. Nelson put on a show on Thursday. He does the same again today. Watch this. A reverse two-handed jam. Oh, my goodness. Then Nelson weaving through traffic, and he rocks the rim again. Nelson finishes with 14 points. Now, final seconds. Ainsworth is down one. Of course, it's Nelson, and he hits the game winner. A turnaround 10-footer. Ainsworth advances to the D1 title game. Johnson Brock is on a 33 game winning streak. It stretches back to last season when the Eagles won the D1 title. Second quarter, Leighton Barons to Kaysen Dollinghouse. The three puts the Eagles in front by eight. Then it's another Dollinghouse scoring. This one is Camden. He goes for 27 today. Johnson Brock cruises into the state championship round. More state tournament coverage is coming up tonight on Sports Overtime. Plus, you can view extended highlights and raw interviews at 1011now.com.